How you doing everyone? Turkey Buzzard here. Hope you're having a good day. Well, if you're a regular subscriber, you'll probably remember that last week I was at Sunshine Tidings where I had built a church. And I will be up there again next week, but for this week I wanted to come down here to Murkwater uh, because during the week, Scott from Sbrew42 was talking with me and somehow we came up with the idea of building a Raider Slaver settlement. So that's what I decided to do was come down here and build that. And that's what I'm going to do for my tour today. Now on another note, I just recently hit 100 subscribers. So I really want to thank everyone who subscribes to my channel. I really appreciate it. I know I could probably have a lot more subscribers if I was to upload two or three videos a day and live stream and all that, but uh, I didn't start this channel to become YouTube famous. I only started this because I love building at Fallout 4, and I like sharing my uh, builds with, with other people who enjoy the game. So really, I want to thank everybody who subscribes to my channel, and also everyone who watches my videos. But anyways, let's get on with the tour. Now, we recently had an, a, a huge update for the Unlock Settlement Objects mod. And it gave us a bunch of stuff that we didn't have before in the game. So you'll start seeing a lot of that in my settlements. Uh, starting with, yeah, rats. Uh, I figured being down here in Murkwater... And being that they're raiders, they're not going to live the high life, you know. This place is really a dump. And so it's rat infested. And uh, I put a ton of these rats down. And what gets me is these rats... Now, see this little rat. Wouldn't you think you could walk past that rat? But no, you can't. You have to either walk around it or you have to jump over it. Now, that's something I missed from Fallout 3. If someone or something got in your way like that, you could just keep walking and push them out of your way. But that's not possible with this game. But this is the... Uh, slaves quarters as you can probably tell they don't live too well and they're only here basically to serve the raiders and all the slaves are wearing shock collars now this tree I believe it's from uh, Vanilla Extensions, but I used the uh, Cabin in the Woods to build on top of it. So we'll go up and take a look at this. And this is where the, uh, the leader of the slavers lives. The raider, slaver, whatever you want to call him. And that's him. And over here is his second in command. Got another raider sitting here at the table. I also had rats up here, but they don't stay up in, in these uh, upper areas like this. They end up down on the ground. Now you'll notice in this settlement that their bathroom fixtures are not everything that they could be. You know, they've got buckets with toilet seats on them. And when the bucket gets full, slaves have to take the bucket outside and dump it in the swamp. And being, being down here in this swamp, uh, I can say I'm glad that uh, this game is not interactive enough that you can smell things. <laughs> because I would imagine that this settlement does not smell good at all. 
you know, the smells of the swamp, the smells of the toilets. Uh, I just recently found a dead wolf laying here. I don't know how he died. I also had a settler, uh, actually a slave the other day when I was building. For some reason, I don't know why. I heard a scream and I went over and there's a slave laying there dead. So I would imagine it's probably common in these uh, raider settlements. Here's a slave cooking food for everybody. And of course you got a raider keeping an eye on them to make sure that nothing else ends up in the food. There's a raider guarding. These uh, dogs you see wandering around are tamed wolves from better stores. And they actually count toward the defense. And speaking of defense, this uh, guard post, I believe, is from Vanilla Extensions. And down here I put some more ammo for the guard. Now those carrots are the only plants they are farming here. They've got one settler working on the carrots. Other than that, any food that they get, they get from outside where they go out and hunt for mire lurks and whatever. Now, these raider settlements, for some reason, every raider settlement I've found in the game always has all kinds of fences built around them. So I decided to put a fence around this. And you'll notice a lot of chain link here. I'm assuming that they would steal the chain link from somewhere close by. Possibly that school that's in the distance right there. But they wouldn't have enough chain link to surround the entire settlement. So, uh, you know, they'd grab whatever scraps of wood and whatever they could to finish out their, their fences. And they do have a gate here so that the settlers or the raiders can go out and hunt for food or the slaves can go out and dump the uh, buckets from the toilets uh, like this one. There's a barrel up there. They've got a hole cut in the floor where they've got a barrel sticking down through there. And on that barrel, they put a toilet seat. And that's, that's their toilet. And they have another one down here set up the same way. A barrel down there. One up here with a toilet seat. And when they get full, the slaves have to tote them out and, and empty them into the swamps. So I would imagine this place probably reeks like crazy. We've got a couple raiders up here on guard. And they actually sleep up here. And for power, they have a couple of uh, windmills set up. And, of course, they run wires throughout the settlement so that they can get electricity throughout the settlement. So it's not a large settlement, but, uh, you know, I've got 21 people here right now. Uh, you can see some of their turrets. The place is surrounded by turrets, so they have plenty of defense. And uh, there's 21 people here now. And it's about half and half. Now this slave here... In order to get him in shackles, it was, a, it was a tough job, I'll tell you. Those shackles will only go down to a certain level on a wall, and then if you try to go any lower, they drop to the floor. And even if I turn off the uh, global collision, it doesn't make a difference. So I had to just put the shackles where they could, would go, 
and then I had to add a floor for him to sit on so that he was high enough. And then once he was actually where he would fit, I had to nudge the, the shackles into the right position so his wrists were in there. So that, believe it or not, just setting that up was quite a labor-intensive job. But I enjoyed it, you know. It's all about what, what it looks like when you're done. This uh, shack here is a prefab. I thought it fit in pretty nice in this situation. But I think everything came out pretty nice. I, I really enjoyed putting this settlement together. Hopefully you enjoyed looking at it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. I appreciate it when you do. And if there's any type of a settlement you would like to see me build, uh, please let me know. I would enjoy building something, you know, anything that uh, anyone comes up with. And same idea, if there's certain tips or tricks that you would like to see, let me know. But for now, I think that's pretty much it for this settlement. So I'm going to head for Sunshine Tidings and work on it up there. And I'll see you up there next week.